Hey guys, my name is Piotr from The Viewer and as you can see today in this video I'm in Lumion Pro because I would like to show you how you can, well I'm not going to show you how you can create something cool in Lumion, this is an example uh, tour, not a tour but a scene, sorry, but I would like to show you how you can, from your amazing content in Lumion 11, how you can create 360 panoramas, 360 images how you can combine them then later on in a in something that we call a VR tour in the viewer. So I will show you how you can generate 360 images in Lumion and then we will switch when the images will be ready to the viewer and we'll show you how you can create out of those images something that we call a VR tour. And then use awesome features of the viewer, things like share links, magic links and also shared experience which allows you actually to meet inside of VR with your customer, see each other with avatars, actually talk to each other and switch panoramas and so on. So the viewer is an amazing place for you to, to share your content and also to review it together with your customer in VR. But before we start, I have to mention that creating this video wouldn't be possible without the help from the amazing team at Lumiart Soft, Lumion authorized partner in Czech Republic. So if you still don't have a Lumion license, I strongly recommend that you go to their website at lumion3d.cz because those guys have some special deals for Lumion together with the viewer. Okay, so the intro part is, is, is done. Let's create some 360 panoramas. Very simple, as you can see, I clicked on the button called 360 panorama. You can see my predefined shots, but I will show you how to create a new one. So we navigate in the main window, we just choose your angle. It's not so important because it's going to be a 360 panorama, so everything will be visible. But what is important is to set the eye level at 160. I, I, I've, I think it's the right value, so let's leave it at this. And horizontal eye level. Horizontal eye level is even more important because if you forget to, cl to click this button and you render a 360, then when you rotate left and right, you will have a funny effect. So please always remember to hit on the horizontal eye level and, and the other one as well. That's pretty much it. So we can store the camera. As you can see, the settings are not the same like in my other panoramas. So I just, I just wanted to show you an example how we can score the camera. Camera view, sorry, now just try to use, yeah, double click to remove it. So this is my first shot, the deck panorama with some cool uh, settings for the effects. Now, as you can see, I have a couple of shots because I want to simulate like a walkthrough from the pool to the house inside, like I'm doing right now. And then we want to finish it with the view of the TV because we have some cool stuff. We will actually embed a YouTube video directly on this TV. So you will see how cool it looks. Uh, you will we'll play something nice on the TV. And by doing this, we'll make the whole scene more alive. Okay, so let's hit the big green render button and we will start rendering because here we are pretty much done. So this is the main window when we will define all our, I would say, parameters. So first of all, output quality. Yes, if you're still learning and experimenting and testing, it would make sense to use the draft quality. But if we already know the process, then definitely I would recommend to use the production quality to have everything as, as looking as best as possible. Now, stereoscopic. Yes, if you only want to look at the image on a, on a flat surface or let's say embedded on your website, then yes, you will not benefit from stereo. But I think sooner or later you will definitely would like to check it out in VR and then it makes a huge difference because when you're doing stereo it gives you the 3D image effect and gives you the illusion of depth and everything looks way better. Okay, in the target device section you're actually defining if you want to have an equirectangular image or a cubic panorama format image. Now Oculus and Gear VR and the viewer actually support both formats so let's just leave the first one and, and move on. It's okay. Now in the advanced settings, I, I think we should leave it as it is. So we're not changing the IPD distance and horizontal slides as the default value is also okay. Now you have to choose if you want to have a medium size image or a large image. Now, what I like a lot here is that Lumion is actually following the power of two rule. You should Google it, power of two. Uh, basically for the computer it's better to understand 8000 by 192 by 8000 by 192 instead of what you guys use very often 8000 by 8000. So please always follow 
the power of two because as I said it's, it's better for computers to understand so I clicked on the large button now I just have to type the name and that's it all my panoramas will be generated in this folder uh, Lumion will use all the all the camera shots that I saved and generate all of them now it's gonna take a lot of time it not makes no sense to record it so uh, thanks for watching this video guys and see you in another continue video where I will show you how you can import Lumion images directly in the viewer. See you guys, bye.